Hey guys, uh, screen is black. Well, we'll fix that. So this is not going to be a Mitgo video. We are instead going to play a new game. This game is free on Steam. It's from Direwolf uh, Studios, and it is called doo -doo -doo -doo, searching, loading, thinging. Eternal. Uh, how do I get to the main back? Home. Haha! <laughs> Eternal. Nifty. So this is a an online card game. It's free to play on Steam. And uh, I highly recommend you check it out because it's Kind of like the best bits of uh, Hearthstone with all, without all the stuff that I don't like about Hearthstone. Um, you'll see more when we get into games. But uh, it's a little bit more like magic. Um, and yeah, literally all I've done is the first part of the tutorial so far. Or maybe the entire tutorial. We'll find out. So I'm going to jump into um, this here campaign, Volm, and we'll see what happens. Let's see, two sigils, a couple of two drops, sure, keep. So instead of just having a mana rock that ticks up every turn, or having land that you have to tap for mana, um, what happens... Infiltrate, draw a card. So when this hits me, he draws a card. Well, I don't want that to happen. But there's not much I can do about it. You play these sigils, and you get influence of a certain kind. Uh, so plus one influence, and you can play one per turn. But, um... Oh, what's his sigil? So, like, he's got the primal sigil... I've got the Time Sigil, and um, those are kind of analogous to different colors of magic. We'll figure it out as we go along. You can play one Sigil per turn, and then each turn, however much influence you have, um, refills. Where were you last turn? Alright, so for instance, I'm going to play another Time Sigil. I now have two influence, I can play a two drop. Let's see, a 2-3, or an 0-2, that draws a time sigil. I think I want that one, because that'll block that fine, and that'll keep me going all the way up. You also start at 25 life instead of 20 or 30 or whatever. Um, I think 25 is a good amount. Um... He didn't even bother attacking. Fair enough. Your units get plus one, plus one. Sure. Or do I want to drop two things? Did I drop a time sigil already? Yes. Okay. So I think I'm going to drop two things here. Unlock potential. Oh, that's just a spell. Yeah, okay. I'm still getting used to this whole interface thing, so bear with me. Flying, summon, stun an enemy. Uh oh. So. What do I do now? I think I will play. Turn that to hand, and then attack with this guy. Cool. So this, I guess, is analogous to sort of a white-blue um, little thing, tempo-based kind of um, mentality, whereas I guess 
this looks like a blue black almost kind of faction we'll figure it out as we go um, Sure. We'll what? What just happened? Ah, uh, punt. Oh well. Um, I'm not used to the interface, so I just used the spell on really the wrong creature. Alright, that's fine. What do I want to do? I'll play that out. Then I'm going to continue to just build up the board because then I can hopefully alpha strike with double. Yeah, and those can't block now because they're basically tapped. Hooray! Hope this is all making sense. Now my things are all big. Some of them are real big. What does this do? Oh, doing damage to what first? Um, this, I guess. It's not going to matter because it's just going to die. It's fine. Oh, and then we have a graveyard. Sweet. So yeah, it's a dynamic kind of look. Um, and I like that. Uh-oh. He's drawing cards. I would like to draw cards. Uh-oh. He's going to tempo me out. I really need something to uh, bounce these darn fairies. Okay, so there's not much I can do. I can attack with this, and if he double blocks, then I kill that. But yeah, I think I'm just going to take out um, this with my, uh, this is flying death touch, um, um, not haste, what's it called? Flash. So I'm going to do that. This is tapping that down. This is tapping that down. Okay, things are looking a little bit better, I think. See, I don't know any of the card names or what they do yet, so it's a bit confusing. 
uh, and I keep drawing land. <laughs> oh well. Still in pretty good shape. Attack! What does plus one maximum power mean? At the start of your turn, your power fills to maximum. Oh, I see. Huzzah. <laughs> Wearing him down through sheer force of will. Fifty three cards, fifty three cards. Flunge. Sweet. So, even with all of the dirtling around and not knowing the cards, still managed to win this very simple computer battle. Um, let's try the next one. Ooh, we get a card. Plus one, plus one for each of your time influence. Sweet. All right. Let's keep going. Radiant forces versus me. Well, this seems like definitely not a hand I want to keep. This seems better. So you get one mulligan, and you just have to keep it. That's fine. That's fair. Okay. So, I will play a one drop. Uh, I get a one drop. Tomb does something when it's killed. Good to know. I don't think I want to waste this on that, but if I don't, I'm not really doing anything. I could drop another one of these. Yeah, I'll just do that and pass. Oh. Or. I could have dropped a three drop. Darn. All right, well, I'll just bounce this. It's probably not the right thing to do, but he has to recast it now, so whatever. I'll be at five next turn. Life seal. What is life seal? A oh, life steal. So it's lifelink and reckless is must attack. Good to know. I should have waited, <laughs> I guess is the answer to that. Plus one plus one for each time influence. Draw two cards. Units drawn this way get plus one plus one. That seems sweet.
All right. I'm not going to ram my little guys into... So these are mana elves, basically. So this is sort of white, green, white, green, blue analogy in magic. I will not block. <coughs> that didn't feel great. <laughs> Ooh, killer. May be exhausted one time to attack an enemy unit. Exhausted. I don't know what that means. But I will play it. Okay. Groovy. Oh, so they really are man elves. They only have their influence as long as they're on the field. Okay. That makes sense. Kill an exhausted enemy. So exhausted means tapped. Gotcha. Huh. I just had my... my... Alright, sorry, there might be a little jog there. Um, I had a roommate come in and need to tell me something. Ooh. Okay, so... I have six. I will have seven next turn, so I'll just drop this. And I will attack for one. And he has two colors, four cards in hand. I have three cards in hand. I have two things on the field. I believe that I am in a little bit better spot. But that may be a mistake to think. Draw a time sigil from your deck. Play time sigil. I will. But I want to. Oh, it's not the same creature. Hmm. Are these even called creatures? I guess. It's a mage, a dinosaur, a radiant. I will play this. And then I will attack. Ooh. Interesting. And then I think we'll end the turn. Oh no. That's pretty good. I will play this. I will block with it. I am not in great shape. I thought I was. I seem not to be. Of course, I have creatures and he does not, so. Maybe I am in great shape. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to play this game. I will. Back alley bouncer? How do you not bounce something when you come in? Because this isn't magic. Oh, right, of course. This is not magic. That 
heck was that? I don't know what that was. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sure. Ha ha. One handily. So I guess I'm probably going to get through the next, um, what is this? Xenon Obelisk. Your units have plus one, plus one. They have plus two, plus two instead if you have eight or more maximum power. Cool. <clears throat> uh, I will probably only get to play this round and then have to stop recording because I have other things I have to do. I have to pick Tams up from she's gigging right now. So, um, hmm, this one maximum power. So I can play that on two, or I could play that on two. Yeah, this seems okay. And I play first. No one drop. Sweet. Might as well. If terrible cards are in your deck, you should play them when it's going to be least uh, damaging to you. Or least advantageous to your opponent. Hmm. I don't trust that opponent is just doing literally nothing. Overwhelm. I'm going to guess that's the trample. Uh, yes. That is like trample. I should really find out what their hotkeys are. Endurance. Can't be stunned or exhausted, so uh, vigilance-ish. Units with endurance. Hmm. Okay. Gonna block me? No? Fair enough. <clears throat> For armor? Silence and stun? Yep, no blocks. Ouch. Okay, so if I drew two time sigils, it probably means I'm less likely to draw more, which is fine. Uh, yes, I will decide not to take damage. Flyer. Hmm. I'm kind of being outclassed here. That one, I guess. Okay. One 
for ones are good. I like one for ones. Whoa. Two five. Can't really get through that. Plus one, plus one for each time influence. Do, do, do. All right, so it's not really advantageous for me to attack here, so I'm just not going to bother. Draw two cards, units drawn this way, get plus one, plus one. Sure. Oh, really? Well, at least this is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Really? Just going to take it? Alright. It's fine by me. It's not fine by me that I'm drawing so much mana. Oh no! Oh well, that's fine. So this is interesting. It's going to be a little confusing to get used to because um, I am so used to the way the magic color pie works, but this also makes sense to me, like, what is this influence? Uh, Justice faction has, like, big stompies and uh, makes your opponent um, creatures weaker and things like that. It, it, it makes sense. So like green blue ish feel you know plus like that's fog basically I guess yeah I'll just play that out Alright, opponent. Can you get out of this? No? Alright. <laughs> Hooray! Alright, what time is it? I guess I can do the last one. Yeah, let's finish this up. New card. Play a 5-5 five, five Sentinel. If you have more than 25 life, play 5 Sentinels instead. Sweet. So I'm going to, of course, think of everything in magic terms. And that make, makes me think of the opposite of um, Fateful Hour from... Avacyn restored <laughs> or is it Dark Ascension maybe a Dark Ascension where if you have 5 or less life the cards do extra things okay this does not seem keepable to me I'm going to redraw this seems better 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow. Um, do I want a bold adventure, or do I want to draw another time sigil? I think I want to draw another time sigil. Because this can still block, and um, that way I'm sure to hit 4, and more likely to hit 5. So yeah, <sighs> gotta get those out of my deck. 
I mean, maybe gaining five life is fine in this game, but, uh, eh. Plus one for each influence, or... Plus two, plus two. Okay, so this is the thing that I played before, and, uh didn't mean to. I think I'll just play a 4-4. Four, four. Oh! Alright, fair enough. Then maybe I'll just get in for two. How do you like them apples? I mean, I am at 33, so gaining all that life was doing something, especially with the opponent doing nothing. But, uh, what does this say? Sure. Hey! I am now on five. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm surprised the opponent didn't block there. Kind of want to block and draw a card, don't they? Oh, next turn's going to be good. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Block now. Draw that card. I don't care. the opponent doesn't do something good, any players... Okay. So opponent is not just dead. But they are very close. like super close. I think that was a mistake. I think this should have blocked this. Of course, I'm playing against the computer, so whatever. Haha, <laughs> I'm now at eight. Haha, <laughs> I'm just going to overkill. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so this has been Eternal. Uh, I might play more of this on um, videos. Uh, I might not. Um, I'm definitely going to play more of it, you know, at home just by myself. Your time units have destiny. Automatically play when drawn, then draw another card. Ooh, sweet. Alright. Um, so yeah, it's, again, free on Steam. I highly recommend you <coughs> check it out. Um, you just make an account, and then there are microtransactions, like, well, I'll, you know what, I'll come back and do another video about a draft, because there is a way to draft in this program. I don't know about it yet, but when I figure it out, I'll be super excited. So, yeah. Eternal. The card game. On Steam. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, if you've liked this video, you should subscribe to this channel, because we do all sorts of other things related to Magic the Gathering. Um, if you want to um, share these videos, I would really appreciate it. 
uh, it helps get the word out and, you know, helps us uh, do the things. I don't know. <laughs> I'm very tired. I'm going to go and pick up Tams now. So thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time.